Hey, I got your message. What's up? Did something happen to He was arrested for drunk driving. Released on my own recognizance. That's good. It's not good. Nothing about this situation is good, Franklin. So what happens next? You heard what the judge said. He's got to set a court date. And then what? I mean, they take it easy on first-time offenders, right? You'll probably get probation, sent to a program, some safety course. Sounds like fun. It's not fun. Depending on the judge you get, you probably have to go to a treatment program. Is that it? No, that's not it. What the hell were you thinking, Franklin? Ah. Oh. Carmen! Somebody gonna answer that? Where in the devil is my staff? What the hell do you want? Top of the morning to you, too. I wasn't thinking, okay? That's obvious. But you don't have to worry about that because it's never gonna happen again. You know this could have turned out a whole lot worse. I know. I know that. I made a mistake, Dad. A big one. But everything turned out okay. Okay? What happened, Frank? Why are you driving drunk, Captain Hubbard? I don't know. You don't know. You're a smart man. You're a doctor, you're a... You're a soldier. Something made you throw the good judgment straight out the window. Could have cost you your life. I want to know what it was. But Frankie's okay, right? He's fine. The police pulled him over before anything could happen. Thank God. Not that I don't appreciate it, but why exactly did you call me? Because I thought you deserved to know what happened. Since when do I deserve anything? Oh. You think this is my fault? Were you with him last night? Just admit it. This is my territory, right? So it makes sense that Frankie would have himself hauled up in here. I'm just a big bad influence on your son. What do you want me to say, Randy? I don't know the truth. All right, then fine. Ever since you entered Frankie's life, there has been nothing but chaos. My son has risked his job, his life, to protect you. I never asked him to. No, he did it because he wanted to help. Because he's a good, honest man. So what, I turned him into some big boozing criminal? You know what, my son, he's not a big drinker. He doesn't get into bar fights or provoke angry pimps. Until now, right? No. Until me? You know, trouble has a way of following you, Randy. Not anymore. That's part of my past. Well, you didn't answer my question. Were you with him last night? Yeah, I saw him, but I wasn't with him. And what does that mean? Frankie was with a whole bunch of friends at BJ's last night, some army friends. I felt weird and uncomfortable. I left. So I'm sorry, you're going to have to find someone else to blame for this. Well, Randy, I'm sorry. Forget I... it. I'm late for work. Babe called. She said she wanted to see us. It was something important. Oh, is the toe hitch broken on the on the on the double slide? <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous, babe. Hey, here, Mama. Um, Jr. and I have an announcement to make. I asked Babe to marry me. Again. <laughs> and I said yes. <laughs> you know what? You give this attitude to a judge, you're going to end up with way more than a suspended driver's license. I can promise you that. What do you want from me, Dad? I've spent the entire night in a nasty cell. I'm exhausted. But do I get to go home and, and rest and chill? No, I got to go to the hospital and start my 12-hour shift. And I'm supposed to feel sorry for you? You're supposed to understand. I know what I did was wrong. I get that, okay? But right now, 
I need to get out of here. Right now, you need to answer my question. Which one? Why? What made you get back into your car instead of calling a cab or calling me, your father? Damn, Frank. God, I told you, I don't know. Is it your redeployment? Something going down between you and Randy? Answer your father. Oh, Lord, you ain't here to add your two cents, too? If that's what it takes. I can't do this. I gotta get to work. No, you don't. I called your attending, said you weren't coming in. Did you pack my lunch and sign my permission slip, too? Oh, right well, here? I'm sorry. Do you feel up to a 12-hour shift right now? Whether I do or whether I don't is my decision because I'm an adult. Then act like it. You know what? Both of you, stay out of my life. It's way too early for you to be stalking me. I'm here because I thought you might want to see how I was doing. Last night, electrocuted by the sky. <laughs> right, I, I totally forgot. You seemed really concerned last night when you visited me in the hospital. I thought I'd come here and let you see with your own beautiful eyes that the P-Man's back in action. The P-Man? P. -man? P in for Pete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I have to go shower, but thanks for letting me know you're alive. <laughs> you're welcome. I'm glad to see you care. I, I don't really. I was just trying to be nice. <laughs> you will care. Someday. Somehow. Colby, you'll feel what I feel. Do you smell what I smell? Oh, your, your burnt marshmallow smell has morphed into something else. A new scent. They call Lightning Tron. You said, did not just say that. I did. <laughs> but now I must go. There's a top secret mission that I must carry through. What did she do with my scotch? Can you believe it, Mama? <laughs> Let's look at you two working it out. That's right, forever this time. <laughs> well, I don't doubt it for one bit. You you guys are great. I'm so happy for you. Oh, yeah. You know what they say, four times charm. <laughs> Dad. No, this is the last time that I'm marrying that beautiful woman. It's the last time you're marrying anybody, I hope. Well, that too. Well, I mean that in a good way. I'm proud of you. Really proud of you. You guys really managed to pull it together. You've always supported me. I'll never forget it. You know, I still can't believe this is happening. <laughs> I know. Can you believe that it's happening? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, what's with the family hey, hey. raper? Well, we have some news. Yes. Um, your brother and I are getting married. Again. Again. <laughs> wow, that's so great. Oh, my God. We're going to be sisters. I always, I always thought it was real. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about you, Dad? You're sitting over here quiet. Any thoughts? Opinions? Insults? What? Yes. Congratulations. I've never been more thrilled.